Keeper 1.0 is introduction to data analysis and making sense of data. Statistics is the science of data. As you saw in the video, there's so much data available to us. In order to properly analyze the data, we have to learn how to organize it, display it, summarize it, and even ask questions about it. That is what data analysis is. Any set of data contains information about some group of individuals. The characteristics we measure on each individual is what we call a variable. There are two types of variables. The first type is a categorical variable, which places an individual into one of several groups or categories. And the other is a quantitative variable, which is a variable where it makes sense to find numerical values such as the average. Now keep in mind, not everything that is a number is quantitative. For, for example, if we were talking about zip codes, a zip code is a number, but it's not quantitative. A zip code places people in different locations by that number. So it's actually placing them into categories. For instance, the zip code of Alatuna is 30101. So that's placing us in this area by the zip code. That's categorical. Don't be confused and don't get tricked when you see a number and think that it's automatically quantitative. It's not automatically quantitative. It can also be categorical and vice versa. A, a variable generally takes on many different values. Um, in data analysis, we're actually looking for how often these values take place. This is what we call the distribution. A distribution tells us what values a variable takes and how often it takes those values. For example, here we're looking at a set of data where we're looking at the model of a car and the mileage per gallon. Here, the model of the car is the individuals of the data set. The miles per gallon is the variable of interest. Looking at it in this form the way it's presented right here, it's kind of hard to see what the data is really telling us. It's not really, it's not really showing us anything. We can't really gather anything from it. But if we look at the distribution of the variable mileage per gallon, we can get a better idea. So here we have a dot plot of the distribution. We can see where some cars had very low mileage per gallon. For example, the Bentley had a mileage per gallon of 14. And then some had high mileage per gallon. For instance, um, the BMW had a mileage per gallon of 28. To put it all together, how we're going to explore data in this class is we're going to examine each variable by itself and then look at the variables to find relationships amongst them. From there, we'll make either a graph or several graphs to kind of analyze and see what the variable is trying to tell us. Then we'll find our numerical summaries to kind of tie it all together and put it all together. Your numerical summaries can be like your mean or your standard deviation, your variance, any of those type of things would be your numerical summaries. All right, to sum it all up, what we're going to always do in this class is we're going to start with a population, so a very large group. And we're going to, instead of analyzing data on that very large group, we're going to get a small sample of the population. So for example, if we were talking about Alatoona High School, the students at Alatoona, that would be the population. Now, it wouldn't be realistic to do a study on the entire population of Alatoona. That's a lot of people. Well, instead, we would do, we would find a sample. So I might take a couple of freshmen, a couple of sophomores, a couple of juniors, a couple of seniors, and do analysis on that small little sample. So I'll collect data from my sample. I'll perform the data analysis on my sample. So again, I would make my graphs. I would find my numerical summaries, like the mean, the median, and so on. I could even find some probabilities on that sample. And once I do my data analysis on the sample, I'll use the information that I find to make inference about the population. So again, I'm using my little sample to collect my data, to analyze my data, to tell me more information about the population. 